This is Sam Vaughn for Sam Sports Report. In this video, they talk about bipolar can be jarred for families and family members. We have to discuss who's the power of attorney. It is very important to do this an unexpected psychotic break. A lot of people, we have had them a lot on, on courses, meaning a lot for one occurring, two occurring, what mean and, and happens in a cluster. What does this mean? They do not happen as much anymore for me and when you turn the age of 30 after that, they become less likely. With schizoaffective lengthy hospitals and battle with depression, I remember from 2016 and 2019, I could barely get out of bed. Not all, it's not like all to me to be that depressed. Psychosis and bipolar had all caught up to me at that time. The state is stated here in this, in changing your family's life forever, nothing will be the same, for better or for worse, with the mental illness. It will always be with me now. My life will never be the same as it was before, and that in months and years later, the caregiver family is a harder, and too many people have left in the dark that the people have psychotic breaks and don't know about it, and people have disabilities that don't know about it. The results of who get to call the shots can get ugly at times. The side effects of medications can be hard. The side effects at times to do outline importance of side effects. Others do the same. Julie's choice in her body and her mind have heard play in here or here. Although I don't agree with it, a lot of people say her body, her mind, her choice, her vaccines. It's kind of the same here. The true medic the medication will help you and your choices to take the medication and the consequences can lead to that if you don't take the medication. You must study the power of clues of what's working and what is not. It will consume your life. So one day she decided to take herself off the meds. Sometimes it is such that the bad side effects you need to get off the meds. For example, in some cases, my meds can cause severe canker, canker sores. It will always be a diagnosis for Julie in this case or anybody to make their own medical decisions. The, chance, the decision right for them or right or wrong. To share in our disabilities, it's togetherness, not just theirs. Not one's voice or other voices, but both voices are important with equal weight of even and disagreements stated in this video. True work though is the disagreement they needed, that she needed help bipolar and this tore their family light apart. Transforming couples, something bring us together. 2.6 2 people live with bipolar. That's Sam Vaughn's mental health. A diagnosis of mental illness can be just as hard on family members as it is on a patient. Tonight, Mark Lukacs offers his humble opinion on the importance of allowing caretakers a voice in someone else's care. At age 27, my wife Julia suffered an unexpected psychotic break. It upended everything we thought we knew. Over the following five years, she had two more breaks, all of which meant lengthy hospitalizations, and even lengthier battles with depression. My lovely wife, Julia, has bipolar disorder, a diagnosis that has radically transformed her life. Wait, let me rephrase that. It's a diagnosis that has radically transformed our lives, an obvious but important clarifier. The caregiving experience of mental illness is an unsung narrative. And it's too often that family members are left in the dark around treatment and recovery, either by doctors or by the patients themselves. The results can be an ugly game of tug of war over who gets to call the shots. It certainly was that way for us. Julia wanted to have her say, 
and I wanted to have mine. She didn't like the side effects of her medication. I rationalized that the side effects were better than the psychosis. I scheduled us for yoga and painting class. Julia stayed in bed all day. As the one living through the lens of suicidal depression, Julia's voice obviously mattered. It was her body and her mind. She was the one taking the pills. So her insistence that she had a say in her treatment was natural. But that insistence often felt at the expense of my perspective, the caregiver, the one the doctors entrusted to get Julia to appointments and make sure she was taking her pills each night. I lived and breathed alongside Julia's depression, studying it for patterns and clues for what was working and what wasn't. It wasn't my diagnosis, but it consumed my life. Julia and I were working for the same goal, but in opposition, deadlocked in an unspoken resentment over whose voice mattered more. One day, she took herself off her most disliked pill, the one with the worst side effects. She didn't ask anyone for permission to do it. I freaked out. How could she play her own doctor? Didn't she know that this is how families lose and mental illness wins? It turns out the doctors agreed with her. She was ready to be done with that pill, but they also agreed with me. It was dangerous for Julia to make her own medical decisions. We were both right and both wrong. And this was our lightning rod moment. The epiphany that helped break the cycle of mental illness as a zero-sum game. We chose to redefine her illness as something we shared, ours, and not just hers. Not one voice over the other, but both voices, with equal weight and validity, even when in disagreement. Bipolar disorder had been tearing us apart. But this subtle change of a pronoun, from hers to ours, transformed it into something that could bring us together. Thank you and good afternoon. This is Sam Vaughn for Sam Sports Report. We just saw a mental health part for the Florida Panthers, the road team. Alexander Buvak will start at the center position. At the left wing, Zach Hemman. At the right wing, Sam Reiner at the left wing. At the right wing, Carter Verhage. Verhage. At the left defensive defense, Matt Tanaka is at the right defensive player and Sergio Sergio Boski is at the goalie. The Panthers go for the first cup. Oilers to hosts. Now let's meet the Edmonton Oilers starting lineup the home team. Ryan Nungit will be at the center position for the Edmonton Oilers. And Zach Hyman will be at the left wing. And at the right wing for the Edmonton Oilers will be Leon Dastro and Connor McDavid will be at the left defense and at the right defense Evan Bouchard and the goalie for the Edmonton Oilers Strat Skinners and the Florida Panthers lead the Edmonton Oilers 3-0 as we said they try to grab their sw the sweep faceoff is tonight at 7 the Edmonton Oilers are favored in tonight's game. The NBA, the Dallas Mavericks, game 4-1 last night, easily 35 points represented by the Celtics, the lowest scoring in two halves of the season. The Celtics trailed by the second most they trailed in the season. The will try to take game five back. I think they will. As I said, the Mavericks will grab one. I said in game three, but it was in game four. We'll talk more about this Monday and tomorrow. Either tomorrow, either mental health or motorcycling. We'll go into that. Here's that link at the end. The Cubs and Cardinals split the first two with the Cardinals winning last night and the Cubs winning today. 
Game decided tomorrow and the chance for the Cardinals to get a 500. Mike Molasses will go for the Cardinals and Jamison Tomlinson will go for the Cubs. The Royals lose another game. They were there were two home runs in the same inning as Cole Reagans gave them up and then gave up and then the Royals gave up the lead in the eighth inning, which the Royals have done more often is give an unearned run. The Royals lose to the Dodgers 4-3 after leading 3-0. Tonight, the Royals will have Seth Lugo on the mound, who's came back down to earth in his last few tries. He's hoping to get off on another planet and have another great matchup. Yoshini Yotama will go for the Dodgers. He has had a good season. This is CM Vaughn for Sam's Sports Report.